Creating a simple app 3. Click the picture box to display its properties in the properties window. Then, locate and select the image property, which displays a preview of the selected image, or none if no image is selected. Click the ellipsis button to display the select resource dialog, which is used to import files, such as images, for use in an app. Click the import button to browse for an image. Select the image file and click OK to add it to your project. Supported image formats include PNG Portal Network Graphics, GIF Graphic Interchange Format, JBEG Joint Photographic Experts Group, and BMP Windows Bitmap. It's possible that only a portion of the image will be previewed in the Select Resource dialog. You can resize the dialog to see more of the image. Click OK to use the image. To select the image to fit in the picture box, change the size mode property to stretch image. Resize the picture box making it larger. Then recenter the picture box horizontally. Select File, Save All to save the entire solution. The solution file, which has the file name extension .sln, contains the name and location of its project, and the project file, which has the file name extension .csproj, contains the names and locations of all the files in the project. If you want to reopen your project at a later time, simply open its dot SLN file. Recall that up to this point we have been working in the IDE design mode. This is the app being created is not executing. In run mode the app is executing and you can interact with only a few IDE features that are not available or disabled. Select debug, start debugging to execute the app or press F5 key. The IDE enters run mode and displays running next to the app's name in the IDE's title bar. You can terminate the app by clicking its close box in the top right corner of the running apps window. This action stops the app's execution and returns the IDE to design mode. You also can select Debug, Stop Debugging to terminate the app.